Hey guys, Al here, Vitalize Seed. I hope everybody's doing well today. So we talk a lot about soil structure on this channel <clears throat> and with our customers. We talk about base saturation percentages in your soil and a lot of things that people, quite frankly, unless you're in large scale agriculture or you've worked with an agronomist, you maybe haven't heard those things before. Um, but it's something that we've really found important, whether it's from a food plot, a garden, um, or of course, as you work up the scale to large scale ag, something that we find to be um, very critical to plant health, but also from a soil structure perspective. Um, to go one step further, of course, we also then promote um, super diverse mixes, you know, with our Vitalize 1-2 system. You have 14 species in the spring and you 16 in the fall um, that are all different species, uh, except maybe one or two. So you're getting quite a few, you know, 30 some species on that particular field if you're following that 1-2 system in a 12-month period, which is uh, quite a lot of diversity, um, and you're also going to get a lot of different um, rooting depth, you know, different <clears throat> root exudates, uh, etc. One of the things that we obviously promote a lot of is, is no-till and soil structure. And one of the things that I wanted to highlight today is um, I'm, I'm currently reading a book and this topic had came up and I found it to be really fascinating. It gets really, really in-depth, so I'm going to do a high, high level, um, but obviously if you want to, just type in some of these uh, terms and you can find more. So um, basically you have uh, hydroscopic water, which is just the moisture that's around soil particles. Let's just keep it really simple. Um, capillary water, and then of course gravitational water. And uh, gravitational water is simply water that's getting pulled on by gravity. Um, so uh, what we wanted to focus on is capillary water. Well, capillary water is when you have really good soil structure, so base saturations are balanced, calcium to magnesium, etc. Um, so your clay particles are balanced in your soil, or if you have a sandy soil, you have that magnesium in the right place to add that chemical soil structure. That's really important. When you add in the root diversity um, of diverse cover crops, uh, you're adding in all of these small little pore spaces. And what capillary uh, water movement is, is the ability for water to move actually against the force of gravity due to surface tension. So the easiest way to explain it is just basically thinking of like a small test tube. Um, there's enough pressure there if it's if it's tight enough that the water will actually go upwards um, against the force of gravity. Whereas if it was a larger or um, not as much surface tension, the water would go um, would not move against the force of gravity. So what happens is when you have all these little tiny porous, really porous soil with a bunch of capillaries, you're able to actually have the water move upward and it's more plants available. Um, of course, gravitational water is not. So once you reach a point of saturation, you know, every soil is going to have some capillary action where it's moving through the soil. Um, even, even sand would have, I, I would imagine would have at least some, um, and that's going to be kind of your soil solution. Um, but as your soil structure is reduced, um, you're going to have um, more water that is lost to the, just the gravitational pull of water, um, which is the force of gravity, basically pulling water through the soil to the water table and then out, um, versus having that water stay in the capillaries and actually move upwards in soil solution and become plant available. Uh, so really, really uh, important, really, really neat. And it talks to why when we talk about diversity and no-till and keeping the soil covered, um, you know, in the worst case scenarios of, of major drought and things, why oftentimes you can see these no-till programs continue to succeed. Now, nothing is perfect, and if you run out of water, you run out of water, um, but these are certainly things that we can do to mitigate the risk, and the science is definitely um, backing it. So if you're interested in this more, guys, definitely uh, do some Google searches, Google Scholar searches, et cetera. Check out uh, capillary water movement and gravita gravitational water movement. And uh, if you're not as interested in it, just keep in mind that as you work towards soil health, you work towards increasing organic matter, you work towards solid soil structure and base saturations and using diverse root structures to increase rooting mass and fungal mass in your soils so they're more porous and they have more of those tiny, tiny, tiny little holes, you're going to have more capillary water movement and be able to hold more water in your soils. If you like this stuff, guys, please share, subscribe, and follow along. And check us out at vitalizedseed.com. We sure do appreciate you.